You people have heard it all about the massacre of 1990 in, in 1990, the Umwachem community in Nigeria was attacked by police forces during a peaceful protest. They were calling for fair compensation from Shell, which had been exploiting oil on their land for 30 years. Because that time our roads were very bad. We had no drinking water. In which the people we are protesting for their benefit from the from Shell. The benefit they were requesting them was for Shell to give them water, light, good road, and employment for their youth. Then on the protest, instead of Shell to grant them their request, what they did was to destroy their houses, kill their sons and daughters, even strangers were killed on the process. In the 1990 massacre, I suffered personal losses. I was arrested and detained for seven months and one week. And in the house, I lost a wife and two kids. Up to you, as I'm talking to you now, I don't know where the corpses are. All the houses we are burned. If you go to my own house, you see the, the relics of what they did in my house. Many fled their homes and have never returned due to fear and because of the pollution caused by the oil extraction. Now, when a woman of a, a, a married woman in Umechim wants to harvest her farm product in terms of cassava, because of the oil spill, want to uproot your cassava, what you see is rotten cassava. The plantain, the fruit, all of them shrink. The leaves have already have turned to yellowish colors. We don't have good hospital. We don't have good maternity home. Imagine a whole community that has oil well, 58 oil well. We don't have maternity. On the process, you see some of the women, they have miscarriage on their way because of the long distance they travel to go and deliver their baby. Our partner, Social Action, is helping the community fight impunity and assemble the evidence to file a lawsuit against Shell Nigeria. The transnational oil companies have made enormous profits, billions of dollars, every year from the oil industry in Nigeria. Because in the Niger Delta, the oil industry operates in the most reckless manner. All of African resources have been historically extracted to satisfy the interests of Europe and North America. They are not produced for local consumption or for, to satisfy local needs. We are suffering so much in the hands of Shell. And I, I feel with the social action, our problem may be free and true. Since our lands cannot be fertile again, we plant, we cannot harvest, we need skill acquisition so that we can be able to earn a living. If you can see now, the children are nowhere to be found because they have, they have nothing to eat. So we need employment for our children. Yeah, what is needed is a, 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 a process of empowering the people of Africa to act in such a way that they can hold their government accountable and get development to serve their interests first and foremost. It is important that we use the example of Umwechem to demonstrate that even decades after such events, such abuses, such killings are carried out by corporations, by governments, that there has to be redress. So now that the social action have come, they have given us a flicker of hope. And we believe by the things we have, we have seen them do, by the extent they have reached, we believe that they are going to be our voice. Everything that we are doing with the Umwechem community is possible because of the solidarity from development and, and peace.